I went and got comfy. This is a lot more work than I thought. By the way, Biggie Smalls, greatest rapper of all time. Alright, I'm about to get on the computer and have a video Google Hangout with somebody that's going to buy my business supposedly. I'm kind of nervous. I put four years into this business and to hopefully sell it for a profit is kind of exciting. I don't know, I've never done anything like this. Apparently I'm going to be talking to more than one person. If I can get any kind of shots of it, I will. I doubt I can because I'm going to be just trying to hang with the conversation because I don't know how this is going to go. It's my first experience with something like this. So pretty excited but nervous at the same time. Definitely wish I wouldn't have drank so much beer last night because I'm feeling it a little bit. But Texas beat tech. Hook them. All right, let's get to work. I got about 30 minutes before I go online, so I'm trying to get my together. I'm just waiting on him. I don't know how to do Google Hangouts. This is all new to me. Here we go. How are you? Good, how are you? Can you hear me? Mm. Mm. Uh, can you hear me? Y yes. Can you see me? Uh, can you hear me now? Hey, uh, can you hear me out? Yes, I can hear you. Can you? can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. This ain't good. Bad start. Well, uh, yeah, my background is I work for a nuclear bomb facility where I live, <laughs> which, which a lot of people find funny, but it's true. And uh, it's a government job, and I was... There's a lot of dead time. The money and the benefits are good, but there was a lot of dead time. And okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate your help. All right, thanks, Alex. Have a good day. All right, you as well. Thank you. Take care. All righty. Bye. Whew. I need a beer. All right, I'm gonna give a little update on selling my business. Uh, before I start today, I went and started my new job or kind of started my new job. I did all the preliminary stuff that you have to do and I start next week after the holidays. So I'm pretty excited about that to have just a, just a steady check coming in and, you know, kind of reassess what I'm going to do going forward. And with that said, I'm inches away from completing the transaction for my business, which is kind of funny. The videos I sh showed before or you're gonna see after were with a different buyer. And this guy has taken a really long time. I've given him 30 days and he finally came with an offer. But in between, I had someone else come with another offer and I was able to get a better offer than I was expecting. I pitted each guy against each other and they kind of went into a bidding war, I guess you can say, which was awesome for me. And I may be able to get a little more if I wanted to, but I didn't want to risk it. And I went with the guy that was actually not the one I talked to on the conference, video conference, uh, because they've done a lot more transactions. And I think the handover part would be a lot easier with this company. And they don't even care about this inventory which I don't know what that's about. I'm pretty sure that they're just buying my storefront because of my reviews because they wanted to give me less money for no inventory, but I, there's no reason for me to keep this inventory. It just be stuck in my house and I don't want it. So the inventory is part of it. Uh, I'm actually right now fixing away at all so I can tell them how much it's going to be for me to ship it to wherever they need it to be shipped. And it's kind of crazy. Uh, this been doing this four years. And it's kind of all coming to an end, which is great and sad at the same time. I hope everything goes through like every, everything's going fine. But if I've learned anything in this process, which has taken about six months, that anything can happen at any time. So I'm not counting my chickens till they hatched, which means I'm not counting it until the money's in my account. So many lessons have been learned through this business. My life has changed so much in the last four years. And like I said in the previous 
video or if yet if I haven't showed it yet the name of this business I don't want to say what it is but it was home team and then there's other words to it I named this business for my ex-wife and I because we're gonna be home team we always used to say hashtag home team and we you know we didn't work out so every time I had to do anything with this business it was just a reminder of the, that failure and I look forward not to have that thrown in my face like Facebook memories does to me every day anyway and move on and see what's next. That I'm home in Massachusetts with my daughters and my